let's go through a solution for this challenge array builder. Let's read the prompt. Write a function array builder that takes an account object and returns an array filled with the appropriate numbers of elements. The order of the elements in the array does not matter, but repeated elements should be grouped. So let's take a look at what the object being passed into this function looks like. We have a property cats and it has a value of two, a property dogs and it has a value of one, and the resulting output array from this object, from this function, looks like this. It has two cats and one dogs element in this array. So right away, I know that our input should be an object and our output should be an array. So let's go ahead and pseudocode out an approach. So first we want to declare an output array variable. And then you, we can use a for in loop to iterate through the properties inside of this object. And then we can declare a count variable to store how many times this property should appear in our output array. And then we are going to use a while loop to push the property into our output array. And we plan on doing this as long as our count variable is greater than zero. And then we're going to decrement the count variable each time this while loop runs. And then at the end of this function, we're just going to return our output array. So let's go ahead and start coding. So first we're going to declare our output array variable using const because arrays are mutable, meaning we can mutate the array without having to worry about reassigning the array to do so. So we declare output array and we're going to initialize it to be an empty array. Then we're going to use the for statement to go ahead and start writing our for in loop. And inside of this expression, we are going to write let key in obj because we want to access each key or property inside of this object. And inside of this for loop, we're going to declare a count variable. We're going to call it repeat count and we're going to initialize it to be the corresponding value for the current key we are currently iterating on. So we can do that using object, I mean bracket notation to access the value for the key inside of this object. And then we're going to use a while loop to push, um, to push the key into our output array. Let's go ahead and fix that indentation for best code readability. And inside of this while loop express well condition, we want our repeat count to be greater than zero. And this is so that we have the right number of uh, the right number of this property inside of this output array. So in order to do to do that, we never want our repeat count to be zero. So inside of this while loop, we are going to push the property into our output array. And then we have to decrement the repeat count by one. And then at the end of this while loop and at the end of this for in loop, we're going to return our output array. So it uh, looks like we wanted to do everything that we were planned on doing. So let's go ahead and delete this, um, clear out this pseudocode. And let's try to run our code now and see if we expect what we are hoping to expect. Let's click run code and everything passes. And as we see here below in this terminal, we get an array that has cats twice and dogs once, just as we expected. And then uh, when we pass in an empty object into array builder and we invoke array builder, we also get an empty array. And there you have it. Thanks for listening.